This is the walk I used to make every day to go to work. I don't anymore because I work at the office. Back in the day, and back in the day is only just over a year ago now, which feels like yesterday, I hear that clang, I'd walk in here, and this was an office. And then this was the doorway. But as you can see, and you might remember, I painted up as the gateway portal to the magical creation room. And that is where the, I don't wanna say iconic mural, but it's definitely been in content that has been seen millions and millions of you know, views worth. So it's recognizable. But the reason I've taken this journey one last time with you in the vlog is because there's a bit of a change of foot. My family and I are actually moving and uh, I can't leave it like this because it's kind of like, I don't know what you call it. It's like copyright intellectual property. It's like our branding. So like if I left it here and whoever moved here had that, they could turn it into something that represents something we don't like. So I'm not allowing that to happen. We're painting over it. <laughs> this and this are mine. I'm not sharing. And as such, we are taking this door and putting up a normal door, but I mean, this is still a great artwork and it can be removed. So I'm gonna put that up somewhere in the new studio on a wall or we could get it framed, I don't know. <laughs> but this I can't take down. I love it. I love what was done in this room, the amazing things we've created over time and I'm gonna be sad to let it go. Let's say goodbye to the mural one last time. really cool opportunity to sort of let everyone share what they remember about filming in that space. I'm interested in where they go. Do they go sentimental? Do they go into some of the more rambunctious moments? Do they go early or late? Like as it's wrapping up and we left. But I'll start us off. When I think about that mural in particular and that space, I actually think about when it was created. So it was designed by myself and Dean Sunderland, who is a Melbourne-based street artist, very talented, and with both of our input, it was made better as a result. And it was a lot of work, but it was also one of the first major elements of my content and channel, and I guess you could say brand identity, that I'd gotten more outside help with, which as a, an artist, I feel a bit guilty about. Like naturally my instinct is to do it all myself and say, I'm an artist, I did this. And I did that with the previous mural. I, I painted all the characters, they all were sentimental to me, but as the channel and the content has expanded and as the scope of what I would like to achieve has grown, it had become apparent that, okay, well, I painted the previous mural for a month full time. Ripple along to when the next mural was being painted, I couldn't afford to do that because I had PJ being employed full time, um, I had a content pipeline I needed to upkeep and I was at that point fully providing for my family in a way that I wasn't when I was painting the previous mural. So it, it was a required switch in thinking to get more help to achieve bigger things but it was also a really important lesson that you can do that. You can achieve better things with other people's help. Other people bring incredible insight and skills and you get a result that more people enjoy for a longer time when you work as a team. And that was one of the first ways that I'd shared the art creation process with someone to make something that lasted. And I'm really proud of that. Okay, so I think now is a really good time to go around and ask people about their memorable stories from the old studio. I only got to see the old studio yeah, once, yeah. actually. It was for the, the game jam video, yeah. which is the first video I ever did. It was over two days. Okay. And literally the first day I was there, I drove my car over the hedges at the front, in the front garden. And I was like, oh my God, these people are They're never gonna, gonna want me back. <laughs> At the time, it was just a one day or yeah. two day thing. And I didn't think I'd be working here in the studio like yeah. on a regular basis. So that's the story of how I destroyed <laughs> Jazz's garden. But you still got the job. So but like... I still got the job, yeah. <laughs> just don't tell Jazz yeah. I am still immensely impressed with what we did hmm. in that tiny room. It's been really interesting because we designed this studio 
at least the layout of things so that every room had a purpose every room was for something whereas the old studio everything was done in the same room yeah it's just everything was so modular so that you'd spend an hour setting up a shoot and then you'd film and then you have to send an hour an hour and a half packing it down for like mm -hmm. every video whereas now we're like oh we've got a big video we'll just go to studio two the mural in particular particular i remember the first time i saw it i remember walking in there and being like that is a lot bigger than it looks mm. on camera and then now that it's all packed up and we moved out and the room was completely empty and I'm like, that is a lot smaller than it looks on camera. I worked in the studio when it was the end of the lifetime of the studio, I guess, with pre-movement and Table Show Time had started back up when we'd started doing mini content. It was really funny working in a studio that was so incredibly cramped, uh, but it was kind of fun too. Cause like we'd be working on videos and kind of be like, all right, shh, shh, I'm doing some audio now and like, shh, and Jazza would be sitting at his desk and it would look so immaculate on YouTube, but it was literally like this tiny window of calm in this storm of chaos. If you looked at <laughs> either way from where the lens was sitting, there was like Rob sitting at a desk, setting something up for a stream, Gareth working on equipment. I'm on the mini painting table. It was just so cramped yeah. and chaotic. It's kind of fun though. When it comes to the old studio space, I guess nostalgia is just the best word. Uh, I'd used to describe it because I spent so much time there doing so many different projects. I've actually tried to think of your question in regards to what sticks out to me and it's hard to give you a proper answer for that because there was a lot done in that space and now it's just made it awkward because I'm trying to be nostalgic and he's just sort of dancing in the background. I think the nostalgia part is looking back on the fact that it was just Jazza and I at one point running that the production side of things and the fact that it's gotten so large now it's pretty surreal to look back on that space and everything that was done there and just walking into that space when i got the job and seeing the mural for the first time was pretty surreal mm. so i'm sort of sad to see it go actually i don't want to go and check it out without that mural being there mm. it won't feel right i guess just all of the really big projects that were kind of too big for that tiny little studio, but mm -hmm. he made it work somehow. I remember when he first moved in, the big box fort he made with MJ and the Cybertruck and just all of the really big projects like that. And here we are, making that journey another time, but it's one of the last times because uh, by the time you see this vlog, I'll probably have moved house. So it is time to bid farewell to the place where the uh, the second step in our big journey happened. Our second ever studio that is now a garage. Whoa, that's so weird and different. <laughs> oh my God. It's just a wall. It's just a wall, just a room in a garage. <laughs> wow, there you go. This is where it was. And it's under there, but it is officially gone and we have officially fully and entirely moved somewhere else to the next part of the journey. But it was fun to sort of reflect back on, you know, one of the places we came from and it's served us well. And whoever ends up moving here is gonna be very confused about what these are. It's nice to look back and enjoy where we came from, feel a little sentimental about that, but it's also nice to get excited about the future. I'll see you guys in the next video.